Hello Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading with me, Cindy. Um, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, maybe Venus. It is the week of the fairies. So this is, I'm doing it new on my channel. You might notice I'm speaking a little bit differently. I do have a dental appliance in my mouth for the next four months. So some of my words don't sound perfectly, <laughs> they're not perfect. They're not perfect. So, so let's get beyond that. Please be patient with me. Um, the fairy reading, we're going to start with a fairy card for you. So each zodiac is getting a fairy reading and that's going to be the first week. And then it's going to be week two, three, and four where I do different types of readings. And then we come back again to doing a fairy message. So with the fairy message, we're going to see which fairy is coming out to talk to you. Um, what are you being asked to release? What are you being asked to embrace? Um, what are you unaware of? And what energy is coming towards you is what the fairy is going to discuss. There is an extended at the end of this reading if you are called to, drawn to, go and see it. And the extended, the link is at the top of the description. In the extended, we are going into your um, inner child. So the archetypal energy represented by a fairy card of what your inner child is right now. Your deeper soul. And then your deeper soul is going to speak to you in the extended. So let's talk now, oh, Gem. What fairy is here to speak? Well, that's a big hat for us to That's like half the deck. There's a lot of fairies that want to talk to you. What have you been doing? What have you been up to, Gem? All right, Gem, Gem. It's so funny. Whenever I say Gem, Gem, I always picture, I get in my head an image of that. I am a gummy bear. <laughs> it just seems so Gemini. Oh, dang. <laughs> Croak. I got it. She of the Croak. Croak. I think I'm saying it right. I know all the Irish and the Scottish and the British will be like, oh, Cindy, you were saying that bad. This is it's like a chalice, right? Wow. Whoa. What's coming through for you? This is interesting. Oh, number five. Okay, I'm going to read it to you. Oh, I just got number five is alive. What is going on, Jam? This is different energy from Taurus, that's for sure. <clears throat> I hope I'm saying it right. She of the Kruak. Kruak? Kruak? The receptive principle, nurturing, fertility. This is the great goddess, the many named mother of all, and all goddesses are attributed all goddesses are attributes or aspects of her. Her cup, the Kruak, overflows with bounty for all. She is the yin energy of the universe, nurturing, compassionate, and wise. She gives form and brings into manifestation the will and life force of he and the fiery sword. His is the intention, the action, and hers is the manifest reality. In a sense, she is the Kruak, holding all the worlds within her being. <laughs> this is like the Divine Feminine, really. It's like the Divine Feminine, the Empress, Isis, it's like all that. <laughs> all right. <sighs> the starter reading. So, okay, that was just kind of giving you a little, what's this all about? So, in the reading... She of the Kruak may indicate a form of pregnancy, a necessary time of nurturing and development. We need to be open to her overflowing grace. She may also indicate a need to allow her nurturing grace to flow through us to others in the form of unconditional love and giving and spiritual healing. She tells us of the need for unconditional receiving, of making the best of what we are offered. She also reminds us that unbounded love and grace is ours, just waiting to be accepted. The presence of this card in a reading radiates comfort and nurturing to the cards around it. Ooh, it feels like a very, um, if you're not in it, the universe, the fairies would like to place you into a very nurturing, comforted yin energy. Very much so. And that also represents, like it said pregnancy, but being prepared for a rebirth of some sort, right? Like being, um, being in the uterus, being in the cocoon. So let's see what the tarot is going to tell us through with the She of the Kruak. I kind of feel like you're speaking with uh, the Divine Feminine is speaking to you. What are you being asked to release? Why, what are you being asked to embrace? Hidden factors that you're unaware of. 
and what energy is coming towards you. wands is at the bottom and that's it everything else is reversed I really feel like um, you know the two of wands is about making choices being ready to go out into the world and find your choices to find things that you can make choices about I feel like this is a very relaxed state of that this person reminds me of someone who's you know just kind of been laying around relaxing resting rejuvenating and I don't know, maybe had a nap in the afternoon and they woke up and it's like, it's the sky is it's starting to set. So it gives me a feeling like, feeling like maybe you've missed the boat on something a little bit. And now you're looking out and it's too late. I don't know. Kind of feels like that with that card. All right. So what are you being asked to release? The Queen of Wands. What are you being asked to embrace? The Page of Pentacles. Hidden factors that you are unaware of. The Knight of Swords. Energy that is approaching you. The Five of Wands. <laughs> I'm not too crazy about the last two cards for you. But let's, you know what? Before I say anything, I'm going to clarify. I'm going to get the story full on out. Because I want to know. I just want to say like, Hidden factors that you're not aware of, an energy that's approaching you. I just feel like there's like some sort of conflict coming towards you really fast. <laughs> so I don't know. That's why I want to clarify, give you more information. I can already feel people clicking off going, I don't know. Don't tell me. <laughs> don't tell me. I don't want to know. So let's clarify. And two, I want to clarify the Queen of Wands. This is a very creative, dynamic, energetic spontaneous intuitive sexy fun energy are you supposed to release that in the world or are you supposed to like release it and become grounded like the page of pentacles huh Seven of Wands is at the bottom. Hmm. A little bit defensive, protective, figuring it out, who you can trust, who you can't, I don't know. All right, all right. What you are being at, what this, what the Divine Feminine is asking you to release? The Queen of Wands, right? The Clarifiers is the Queen of Pentacles, the Five of Wands again, the Five of Wands again, and the Judgment card. I'm starting to get some cards of the week here. Judgment and the Three of Swords, and actually the Page of Pentacles, are cards of the week that keep coming out here, and you've got them too. Oh, hi, Lily. Aw, Lily just came into her bed. Oh, she's a Gemini dog. Yeah, it's a good girl. Okay, I'm going to show you all the clarifiers, and I'm going to, like, unfold this story for you. What are you being asked to embrace is the Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> Clarifying it is the Ten of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. Embrace that. Somebody was told to embrace. Yeah, Aquarius was told to embrace. <gasps> Maybe that you're another air sign, kind of being nudged to embrace the Knight of Swords. Hidden factors that you were unaware of, right? Was this Knight of Swords? We have clarifying it: the Three of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Hermit. That's interesting. The clarifiers are the complete opposite of the card, right? Energy that is approaching you is the Five of Wands. Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. 
Yeah, I'm glad I clarified because it's reading a little bit differently now. Okay, so what you're being asked to release here. I feel like you're being asked to release your divine feminine energy. To release it to have some sort of a rebirth. Isn't that interesting? Coming from the fairy that is divine feminine. To kind of release that. To release it. To fight through a rebirth. These are two really um, powerful, like, well, all the queens are pretty powerful, really. But, uh, like, the queen of wands. I want to really look at the card. She's surrounded by candles. Fire, obviously. She's holding fire in her hand. She's playing with fire. Playing with fire. That's what I feel like you're being asked to release, is the fire. I really feel like you're being asked to release the fire. There's so much fire in this card. Almost like blow some of the candles out. Like kind of blow some of the candles out. Like cool down the fire a bit somehow. If you've been feeling particularly um, maybe over energized, feisty, to calm it a bit. There's two aspects of your, see, like, if I think about the Divine Feminine, it is like the Empress card in the tarot, and the Empress represents all four queens in the deck, which is the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. So, this is not like, do not be um, in touch with your feminine side, because I hope any guys watching haven't tuned out. This is really like about um, the, the feminine aspect of you inside, the nurturer, um, the yin energy. It's almost like to release these two. And, and for me, that means the Queen of Cups, so emotions, feelings, intuition, and the Queen of um, Swords, which is Gemini, clear thought, thinking, strategizing, uh, also intuitive, right? Also intuitive, but also um, one to cut things out, like looking at things on a strategic level and cutting them out. You're not releasing those two. You're hanging on to the cups and the swords. There is a release here of wands and pentacles. And I understand the pentacles. I'm not too sure on the wands yet. The pentacles I'm getting because there's a fresh start in that there is a fresh start in pentacle energy for you in establishing a new beginning in some real tangible aspect of your life is going to be reborn so what you because what you're being asked to embrace right is this page of pentacles it's a very balanced this this page is very very balanced Wow, I never noticed she's standing on a little tiny root. Actually, this root is wrapping itself around her. It's almost like, yeah, like this is that new beginning in pentacles. The only thing that's being left out here is the wands. And maybe that's why with the two of wands, there's something about your desires, your passion, your creative energy that's missing. And it is a struggle because the five of wands has come up twice. That's something about it. Almost like maybe if you're trying to fight through it and claim it and own it, it's just kind of release that and back away from it for a bit. There's a focus here on, on your stability, your home life, your work life, what you're learning about yourself and other people, how you're understanding the world and your place in it is to be renewed to something like brand new.
The Ten of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and Nine of Swords is all about that page. That page of Pentacles, what you're being asked to embrace. This reading is a little similar to Aquarius. It's like they're giving you permission to go into your head and think about worst case scenarios. That's what this feels like. The fairy is giving you permission to go into your head, but see, this is where the difference is, where the, it's like taking control over the nine of swords. So it's not like, you know, just putting things off, you try not to think about it, and it creeps up on you in the night. It wakes you up at 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. Or you wake up, you're thirsty, and you need to go to the bathroom, whatever it is, and then you go back to bed and you can't go back to sleep because your mind is going on and on and on and on about something that you can't figure out or you can't rectify. It, and it has something to do with bringing two parts of your life together, balancing two parts of your life to have your Ten of Cups, to have your true happiness here that you can share with others. You're being given permission to face that head on, to really look at it. What are the worst case scenarios? What are the worst ways that this could play out? I know that sounds like negative, but sometimes we need to look at the negativity. We need to look at it face, head on. Look at it in the face. Recognize it. For, like that's how you dispel the devil. Like that's how you get rid of that energy. If you keep putting it off, keep putting it off, keep putting it off, it builds up. It builds up on top of you. It becomes overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Embrace. This is part of creating your new stability. This is also part of removing any negative thoughts from the past so that you feel like this very refreshed and rejuvenated youthful page. So what I said with Aquarius with this was sort of similar in that um, book yourself the time. <laughs> Like, don't let the Nine of Swords creep up on you. Attack the Nine of Swords. Um, take the phone off the hook. Give yourself an hour. I don't give yourself two hours. Give yourself a day. As much time as you are able to do in your schedule. And devote it, even with a piece of paper and a pen. Write down everything you desire, what you hope for. What are the worst case scenarios? Look it in the face so it doesn't scare you anymore. That's really what I get here. All right. Hidden factors that you are unaware of was this Knight of Swords. This is energy. It just feels like something rushing towards you. Or perhaps you rushing towards something. You may not be aware of ah, the clarity that you're going to receive when you hit the Nine of Swords head on. Like receiving something like, ah, now I know. Now I know. Somebody's going to know something. And I want to say, you can identify who you are. Whether you're the knight of swords coming going after something or someone is coming towards you with this sort of energy because the knight of swords i feel like is coming towards the three of swords the ten of wands and the hermit it is the complete opposite energy of this knight of swords and it feels it feels like to me that the knight of swords is rushing towards this so this is someone and what they're rushing towards is someone, I want to say, who's got some sort of heavy heart, uh, their disappointment, heartbreak. They're carrying heavy burdens. And they've been in isolation. So who are you in this, right? Who are you in this will kind of give you an idea if you're going to be going into this charging forward energy or someone's going to be charging towards you. Now, this energy that's approaching you is really interesting. It certainly changed with the clarifiers because it was the Five of Wands. So when I saw these two, this Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands, I was like, shit, this is almost like someone charging towards you, almost ambushing you with wanting to um, like discuss something, but in a very aggressive way, you know, something that you wouldn't expect. Like maybe, I don't know. Uh, maybe you're not always remembering to empty the coffee filter, the coffee maker at work or something. I don't know. Like, it's something that you're probably kind of oblivious to. And it, it may it's, it may not be that mundane. It could be something more significant in your life. But it's 
pissing someone off and you have no idea and you're doing it over and over and over again and just one day you go in there and they're like standing at your desk waiting for you to show up to work and you're like oh hi and they just like boom you know what the hell is wrong with you why can't you it's just like that's what that felt like i thought I don't know. I like that. I don't know if you like that, Gemini. It's a little different. I still feel like it's something coming towards you, but it's going to create some sort of conflict within you. I feel like it, it creates some sort of conflict within you. It's the Ten of Pentacles. It's clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. There's that Page of Pentacles again. That's what you're being asked to embrace, right? And part of embracing that is figuring out this journey to J's are very hard to say the journey to the ten of cups right and now here this conflict it has the potential to be very like good the ten of pentacles the four of wands and the page it's like a brand new it's like it's like starting all over again I really it feels like starting all over again so I don't know depending on how old you are too like if you've been married before if you've had a shared a home with someone and maybe you finished a relationship or you ended one one was ended time has gone by I don't know how much I'm not really getting an indication of how much time has gone by here if any time has gone by but this feels like a brand new beginning it can also be a brand new beginning in a relationship that you're in now and there's been a lot of conflict in it. That's definitely coming through as well. It's kind of like starting again from ground zero and making this healthy, making it healthy is what's approaching you. So however that healthy is, whether it's fixing um, an existing connection that you have with someone, like a serious connection, whether it's like a marriage, a partnership, a friendship, a business partner, it's like that and it's fixing it but it needs to start from ground zero with the page of pentacles i just want to clarify the two of wands which is the underlying kind of the reason for the reading like looking out but i feel like this person who's sitting here feels like they slept a little too long like oh now i'm not gonna sleep tonight and i was getting late like i really can't go out and do what it was i wanted to go out and look for it just has that feeling of maybe the time yeah almost like almost like you were waiting for the perfect time and then you dozed off and went oh shit, i missed it to go out and find what it is you wanted the two of wands the two of wands one card the king of pentacles give me more information about that the two of wands the two of wands oh now it's just not see so much to say it starts with one i want to get this together oh oh wow this is really interesting okay i'm gonna hold this up in two sections two sections Okay, we start with the King of Pentacles, then we have the Knight of Pentacles, then we have the Eight of Pentacles, and the Tower moment. This is a lot of work. That's a lot of work energy. The King of Pentacles is like the father figure, the boss, the CEO. The Knight of Pentacles has a plan, but it's very slow. But slow and steady often wins the race. And then the Eight of Pentacles, like putting an awful lot of work in. The Two of Wands, like you're looking for this. But now, okay, this is where it gets really funny. Because the reason I held that up in two sections is because it's like this, all this pentacle energy. And it really feels like work. Like something that you work on. Maybe I brought work up for a reason. Maybe there is somebody that you're pissing off at work with the coffee maker. I don't know. But then after the tower moment, you get the lovers, the knight of cups, and then the empress. There's the divine feminine energy. Do you see that? It's like a huge shift. From all this pentacle, a tower moment happens. And then it's there, like it's almost a change. That maybe there's someone at work that you want um, to connect with. 
but it's not on a work relationship. Not with the lovers in the Knight of Cups and the Empress. This is wanting to move forward um, with feelings of love, and, like love and devotion I'm getting. And the Empress, really, re like really a devoted energy. And this is the reason for your reading with the two of one with it being underlined for me. Oh, I don't know. You guys are complicated. <laughs> this is complicated. I'm going to ask for one last card from She of the Cruac. Cruac? Cruac? Croc? Croc? Oh. That one, Croac. The Croak? The Croc. Oh, that's wrong. I know that's wrong. <laughs> The Six of Pentacles. I kind of like that card. It's a clarifier. That's all that's coming out. It's the Divine, the divine Feminine. So there's something on, going on here about the balance. I want to say you're a Divine Feminine energy. I mean, that's really what this is about. Because you're being given a sort of a tip here. And what parts of your Feminine energy to release. To build something up again. I really feel like that. To build something up again for you. What's at the bottom now is the chariot. And everything else is reversed. The chariot is at the bottom. So movement. Movement after a period of stagnation. Alright, I'm going to do... I can't... This Knight of Swords. I want to know what this Knight of Swords intends to do. It feels like it's rushing towards an energy that is very different. What is the intention of the Knight of Swords? Oh, they want to end something that they've been watching. <laughs> it's kind of like wanting to end. Look, maybe, maybe you have been watching someone or thinking about something or trying to understand something or someone or someone has been watching or trying to understand you. And it's bringing an end to that. So maybe y'all finally understand each other. I don't know because you the star and temperance. Wow, that's an interesting underline now. This is like, kind of like earth angel and then this is angel on earth. <laughs> interesting. It takes time to get to wishes and fulfillment and balance. A lot of balance with the star and temperance for sure. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> I'm going to go do the extended and see what archetypal energy your inner child is in right now because this is really interesting. All right. Oh, I see you there. Great. If not, I hope to see you here next week. Thanks so much, Gemini. Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.